Here's how being all things to all people almost put me out of business. By trying to serve everyone, I in fact was serving no one, least of all myself. The problem was that I would take on any client who threw money at me because I needed to, but this came with all sorts of problems, all sorts of setbacks and challenges for my young agency that I wanna walk you through in this video. So watch until the end to see how I focused, how I reshaped my offering, made my business thrive more than ever before. And most importantly, I finally enjoyed running the agency again because I didn't have to be all things to all people anymore. Hey, I am Jan Koch, I run Virtual Summit Mastery and I run List Building School. And in this video, I want to speak about how I turned my agency from serving everyone and taking any project that was even roughly in our ballpark to building a very focused agency that just focuses on virtual summits and what that did to my business and most importantly to my lifestyle. So when you work with everyone, you need a very broad skill set. And this is a challenge because it means that either you have to learn all those skills and master them, or you have to bring on freelancers, you have to bring on staff maybe, and you have to manage those people. So not just is there a skill gap, there's also a gap of managing people that you need to master. Whereas if you have a very specific service, you only have very specific skills that you need to become good at and by doing that you are the master you are an expert at what you do and you don't have to be average on countless things i would rather go a mile deep and an inch wide than go an inch deep and a mile wide by focusing on everyone and taking every project i was draining my energy because i didn't have the skill sets and i had to bring on people that i had to vet beforehand and some freelancers were great others weren't so much it was draining my energy i dreaded waking up in the morning i had email anxiety because I knew the projects weren't going well. I knew that things were amiss and I didn't enjoy running that agency one bit. I was a mess to be around sometimes because I was so frustrated. Three or four projects at the same time, none of them went really well. Whereas when you have a single focus, a single service that you create, or maybe two, three, four services that you can create and that you are excellent in, that you know your team can deliver a high quality service with, you take out that energy drain and you know that the projects go smoothly most of the time and you enjoy opening the emails because you get excited client emails, because you get positive feedback on the project progress, because you fuel your business with your focus, because every Everybody in the agency knows exactly what they have to do, what skills they need to bring to the table. Whereas if you just take on any project that comes your way and you assign them to a developer who has never done that type of work, for example, you throw off multiple people, not just yourself, but also your team. What was the most important thing though is I didn't feel like an imposter anymore because I knew that the projects weren't going well. It was really hard for me to keep a straight face when saying we are experts at what we do in our proposal meetings. and onboarding calls and things like that. I felt like I was winging it. Whereas now focusing on just one service, I know that we can deliver on that service because we've done so multiple times. It's over and over and over again. That is how you build confidence. And now let me show you the steps that I've been through to actually change how I ran the business, how I changed the focus and show you exactly what I did so that you can remodel those steps if you are in a similar position where you are stretching yourself too thin in too many different projects. What kicked this off was a brutal, honest conversation with my wife. And I realized I couldn't continue running the business like this or I would ruin the marriage eventually. And of course, that's not something I was aspiring to. So I took a step back and I assessed which projects were the ones that I enjoyed the most and also that the team was able to deliver a fantastic service on. Those were the projects that turned out to be virtual summits in our case that I loved doing and that we produced amazing business outcomes with. So we decided to dive deep into that who are the clients that we had in those projects? What are the commonalities? What are the common traits? Those are the clients we went after. What type of work did we do? And what was the process in the project? We mapped out every single step so that we had this replicable process 
that we took every client through, we focused a lot on having a great customer experience. And that is what became our bread and butter eventually. What was more tricky was not to renew maintenance contracts, for example, not to renew work with clients that we had worked with in the past that weren't virtual summit projects. Saying no to clients that want to pay you is not a comfortable thing at first, but you have to realize that that is what gives you freedom so that you can go after the right type of clients. And that's a super important distinction to make. In the end, by focusing on this one specific service and this one specific type of client, the agency works better, the team performs better, and I enjoy my life and I enjoy business a lot more, which ultimately gives me the freedom to create videos like this even, because now I'm in the right mindset and in the right space to do this creative work again. Whereas beforehand, I was just bogged down in work and I was tired of being in front of the computer, frankly. As a summary, we improved our customer experience, we deliver better results, the projects go smoother, we earn more money and marketing is a lot easier because it's now just one service that we advertise and we know exactly who we are competing with and who our partners are. If you enjoy content like this, subscribe to the Cloudways YouTube channel. We put out videos every week that help you build your digital agency based on real world experiences like the story I just shared with you. If you want to learn more even, then download the agency toolkit that we have linked below the video with all sorts of cool resources that help you build the agency quicker and that help you avoid the mistakes that you might make otherwise. Thanks for watching.